Hey, it's me, PK King, and there is no structure for this video, just letting you know. I'm running into this blind. Anyway, today we're here on Stage Builder. As you can see, Jeff said, why are you here on Stage Builder? Well, if you know, um, I have a series where I animate characters if they were in Smash Bros, right? Cool. But, Stage Builder wasn't out then, and I would never really put their stages into the game. That was so bad wording. Anyway, I talked about stage ideas that I had in that video, and I've also come up with some more. So here, I'm just going to make some stages that I kind of wish I could have made back then, but we didn't have stage builder then. So instead of splitting each character into its own videos, I'll just do it by series, and then I'll just start incorporating the next stage with that character. Does that make sense? Like right now, I'll do all the, the Shovel Knight characters, you know, playing Knight, Spectre Knight. I'll do all their stages. Um, the, they're each going to have two, and maybe I'll throw in an extra one just for their series. And then I'll do another episode for Hollow Knight. But the next character that I have coming out and the characters after that, their stages will be in their video. So just watch the whole video. Okay, for the first stage I have is for Plague Knight, because he was the first character I did. I had the idea of playing his game. You know, he has like that secret lair that, that's like the hub area almost, that laboratory thing, right? And I mean, that'd be a pretty cool stage. It's just be like a flat, like boring stage. So I thought the little screws that take you down there could be a part of the stage. They can go up and down, mess everybody up. It'd be great. It kind of reminds me of that one Fire Emblem stage where it's flat, but then like, you know the, the the stage just builds itself like in the middle of the fight you know so that's kind of what I'm taking that's what I kind of what I'm taking and trying to do I don't know how feasible that is I don't know that much about stage builder on here yet but I think it should be interesting okay so what size do we want it I kind of want it big I feel like it should be big but I don't know how big big is because I'm imagining like Palatine's temple big but I don't think they'd let us do that I think I'm gonna go big for the backdrop, I'll, the backdrop, I'll probably have to build, build and like make all those crazy potion tubes myself. I mean, it's not like you could really see the background; it just kind of looks like a purple black mess. Like this could work because we'll probably be blocking all the orange. But you know, let's go here. Let's go here. Okay, what stage best kind of represents him? It's a lot of like 8-bit kind of stuff. Um, very high energy. I almost want to think Game and Watch. He only has two songs. Maybe a Mega Man song. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, there's the retro melody. You know, like, these are too iconic. You know what I mean? You hear this, you're gonna be like, oh, Mega Man. You know what I mean? Like, this, I didn't freaking know this was Mega Man. I think we're gonna go with Flash in the Dark for now. Maybe we'll change it later. Um, but right now, I like Flash in the Dark. Okay, we're here, guys. This is it. This is what we have to work with. I don't want this to have walls on the side, that's kind of lame, but maybe we can have like the front layer have those walls and it just so like I have like a visual thing. If you look at the edges, that kind of looks like lava, right? You guys see what I'm going for? You get it? Okay, that's what we're going to do for the foreground because like, <coughs> hello, that's already like so much of our material. Actually, should I work on the background first? I mean, I don't want to work on the background and then I don't have enough material to stand on. So <laughs> Okay, okay, okay guys, we have the general idea, okay, we get it, we love it, good. Okay, so as you guys saw, um, I, this isn't working out the way I kind of wanted it to, it's, I don't really have a way to put more in like, like I kind of wanted so you yeah see I can't really fit any platform there it doesn't really work so what I'm thinking is I might just move these to the back layer and then I'll have a platform that like it's get like there's platforms that move with it but then I have this the normal floor you know what I mean Okay, now that I've kind of done it like this, I kind of wish I made the stage smaller, but you see kind of what I'm going for. It's just this flat stage, um, and then I'll put platforms like attached to the top of those so I can stand on these. It's a really big stage. Pro 
problem. <laughs> so I kind of, um, okay, you can see, you, okay. So look, right, this platform, it moves with it, but I can't go up it like that and I can't go down it. And then also it just stops right here and starts going back up and leaves the other one. So I'm like, what? Does it go too low? Does it, why did, why can't I go through it? Is it because it's moving? I can't go through it. We have moving platforms in the game. I don't get why that's a restriction. So I'm, I don't know, that kind of sucks. Okay, I left it alone a little bit to see if it was working and it is working it's all it's synced up it's perfect it goes really high but that's okay I can't go under it and that really bothers me I can't go over it either so it's not like an actual platform platform so basically this is the general stage the platforms all move kind of differently um, but they're actually platform platforms that you can't go through so if you know a way to make it able to go through then please let me know but until then, this is just a janky as hell stage. But, I mean, it would have been even more janky if those things were in the front. So, like, think of how horrible that would have been. Think of how horrible, like, actually walking on the actual things. Would so, this, I feel like this is a happy middle ground, okay? So, now I'm just gonna go do the background. And if I'm being honest, I'm, a, I'm about to keep this simple. We don't really have that much room to work with anyway. Okay guys, hear me out, I know this is very limiting, but I feel like this is the best way to go about it. If I kind of brought the floor and the gears forward, then left the stage in the back so I can keep it super simplified, then that'd be good. That was my thought process. Um, you can't see it like across like the edge, which is great, you know, love that. But um, because this is such a vertical stage, you could definitely see it at the top. I don't like that. There's nothing I can really do about that. But I think keeping the simple background, because you know this game doesn't let you do anything, um, is far more beneficial. I like this. I like this. No, I don't. Okay, guys, I'm done. I need to move on to the next one. You think you can do better, which you probably can. Please send me your codes, make this stage, make a video, I don't know, just something, because this is bad. It's really the background that's sad, and that's what's really enticing about this area. The background is probably one of the most important parts, so I kind of feel like I should prioritize that, but I prioritize gameplay, which, like, I mean, I don't know, are you going to get mad at me for that? But, like, being honest, right there, it looks pretty freaking cool. Like, that actually looks kind of dope, but that's about it. Okay, guys, there you go. There's the ID. That's me, PK. Okay, guys, the second stage for Plague Knight is actually not going to be from his campaign directly. Well, it is in his campaign, but it's actually going to be his boss fight. Um, the, that little area where he throws up and everything explodes. I have a pretty interesting idea for this, even though I don't really know how it's going to work yet. But I'm going to keep the, uh, this stage should, probably should be big, but big was too big last time. So I'm going to do normal. And as for the background, um, looking at the background now, it looks like it just, it's like a big hallway thing. Like, if I'm being honest, this would probably be the best one again. But I almost don't want to use it again. I think I'm just going to keep this. I didn't know they all explode, and I didn't realize that I'd be stuck in here when they come back. So that changes what I was going for, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Um, I just need to make smaller little areas and then have like breaks between them. It's okay, this is fine.
feeling. You get it? I got the whole thing going on in the back. Um, pretty cool, and it has these three little kind of sides, you know, and it's the sandbox or whatever, but like, okay, mm -hmm. in the fight, he throws things and he breaks the blocks, and I wanted the whole stage to be able to just be broken, and then there's no stage if you explode everything, but I wanted to make the bombs fall from the sky, I wanted to make the whole thing like way bigger, but these cubes are huge and you can't shrink them down, the bomb things don't fall, and if one thing explodes, they all explode. So I had to disconnect them a little bit, I also had to make sure that you couldn't get stuck in it because that happened when I was like testing it. Like that dude, so he's not stuck because you can just break this. And I mean like, sometimes you can get like a little stuck like here, but like that's why I moved that to the side. And also you could like down tilt and still like hit that bomb. Um, and then here, um, you could still grab the ledge and if you get up, if you get up attack, Okay, no. If you get up, attack, or get up, it doesn't explode. You have to get up and do an arrow. Well, I mean, I don't know. That can make some, for some pretty interesting, like, edge guarding things. And maybe there are moves that can, like, even hit through this. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this stage. Okay, here's the stage. Here's the IP. ID. I, IP. What is this? Minecraft? On to, on to, what's the other one? Okay, Spectre Knight. Um, his stage, his first one I'm gonna make. And we're going a little out of order, but this one's not gonna be from his campaign. Oops. This one's gonna be from his boss fight. This, well, I, that, I said all that needs to be said. It's his boss fight stage. Um, list one I'll be making today. Thank God, I need a simple one right now. I don't like the stages where there's walk-offs. I don't know. I think that's lame. I think you take that's like taking a huge part of Smash and just throwing it away. Like, no. So, I'm gonna cut those edges off. And that's about it. That's about the only change that's going to happen. But, um, yeah, it's going to be, honestly, the normal stage. Normal stage. The background, this fits. It's during, like, a thunderstorm thingy, so this is kind of scary, spooky. Um, honestly, the moon would honestly work, too. Shoot. Dang it, I thought this would be easy. Uh, I'll do this. This is, this looks cool. This song. Heck yeah, we're going with Rip the Silence. Is that what it said? Yeah, right sides. We love that. Okay, guys. So the stage is done. I think it looks pretty cool. The background looks pretty alright. We even got the torches and everything. Um, I even put these little thunderbolts that fall every once in a while. Um, just to add to like, you know, the thunder effect. And I think this is cool. It's a little small, but you know, it's good. It's competitive. We love that. Um, on to the next. We're halfway through, guys. We're halfway through. This is the third stage. And we have... Well, actually, we're more than halfway through. But, you know, it's moving on to the to the next Spectre Knight stage. I really like this one. There's the code if you want to get this stage. And remember, if you make another one, if you make a better one, let me know, let me see. I would love to see you and play on it. Okay, guys, for Spectre Knight's second stage, it's going to be the tower. The Tower of No Evil Quarters dimes and nickels something like that it's that starter area when he's sitting on that little the thingy and he's looking off at the distance holding up holding on to lock it and it's on the edge of the thing and yeah that that's what i'm making this one i think i'm actually gonna have it be a walk off just because it fits and i also think this is gonna be a smaller stage i'm just gonna i also have diversity i want a smaller stage and it just has a very very pretty sky um this isn't that pretty, this is kind of sad. It, this does have the moon in the background. It does have the moon in the background. This could work. And we're going straight back to Castlevania. We did it so well last time. No, I didn't mean to click it. No, see, I don't, we don't love that. I just want to get a taste. This kind of hits. I'm cool with this one. Let's go Jack of this castle. Yeah, 
guys, this one was actually pretty easy and kind of fun to make. It kind of has little steps. I wanted to make sure that like you, it wasn't like you can get hit off of it. You wanted to make it easy to like run up. Um, it does have a walk off right here by Mario. Um, and I mean, I don't really like how you can go up here, but there's kind of nothing I can do about that unless I put like a lip. Actually, that probably just make it easier. I don't know. There's nothing I can really do about that. Okay, guys, here's the stage. There's the code if you want to get it. Remember, it's small, but I mean, it feels kind of big, and I think it's cool. And um, yeah, if you build one, show me, send me, and send me the code. And we're going to get on to our last kind of a bonus one. Um, we'll see. Okay, so I was thinking of a stage that I could put in this game from Shovel Knight that would be fair to both Plague Knight and Spectre Knight, but not a stage that was super like limited to Shovel Knight. So what I decided to go on is, I don't even know what to call this, the fish pond, the, the what was it, the trunk, you know, the dancing fish, you know, the big apple thing, that thing, it would be there. I think this stage should probably also be small. Um, the backdrop is in like a foresty, watery area. Um, honestly, the default might kind of work for this, maybe. But it's dark. Honestly, this should work. This looks good. Let's go with that. Okay, I'm feeling something from Pikmin. Like, you know, like a nice, nature-y, happy kind of thing, you know? That's not happy. This is cute. This is cute. And this sounds like this sounds this this fits. We're going with it. Okay guys, all done. This is the stage. Um, I really like it. I really like how this uh, this dude turned out. The apple fish dude. I really like how this turned out. It's kind of weird, but you know, like he moves. So like, just up and down. But I mean, he moves. And look at that tree behind him. Look how nice that is. Like, come on, give me credit. I even put these little like ball light things up here. And the floor has little grass on it. Like, come on. This stage, this stage is fire. <laughs> the ledges are grabbable, right? Oh. Okay, maybe the ledges aren't grabbable. Okay, guys, here's my code. Here's my thing. You already know the deal. It is small, but you know, small things come in big pack. Fuck. Okay, and that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for getting this far into the video. Those are all five of my Shovel Knight stages. Um, and if you guys like them, here are the IPs for all of them. IPs, IDs, IEs, I don't remember what it's called. And I showed them all earlier, so if you want to download any of them, that'd be very nice. If you want to give me a yeah, <laughs> that'd, be, <laughs> that'd be great. But yeah, that's it for these stages. On uh, next video, I'll do one for the Hollow Knight stages. Um, I guess I'll have to do five of those too, but that'll be kind of hard since it's only the one character and Hornets game isn't out yet so I can't do any stages from that because the game doesn't exist yet. I mean I could do it from the trailers that we have but like what? You know I'm not, you know. So look out for the Hollow Knight version and in my next video of my next character in Smash which I'm already like it's probably the most ambitious one I have yet but I'm also going to try to make it the most concise and efficient one yet. Um, but I'm super excited for this deed. And, oh, that's your hand. It's another guy. Hmm, <laughs> duh. But, like, um, I'm so excited. And I have already recorded the stages I made for him. And I'm showing those off in his video. Um, like, it's only one. But that's why I really have to, like, crop out and, like, move around the other stages that I have. But, yeah. 
that's that's it for me that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed send me your stages download my stages whatever and um if you haven't already check out uh, spectre night and play like the videos that i made i animated their entire moveset here in smash bros and i mean if you made it this far here i don't i'm surprised that though that haven't uh, that hasn't at least like enticed you like hmm what is that i'm, I'm curious let me let me swipe up and look at those videos you know but uh, anyway that's it for me i think so bad at with ending videos but um thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time probably in the future in tomorrow next week next month hmm, yesterday i <laughs> y'all told in the morning i forgot to record an outro i'm tired <laughs> i love you guys night or morning or just bye